owner, Jason, another top bloke too. Like it's all the nice guys kind of coming back in the industry and they want to rebuild it and make something good. And I think uh, he's one of his main headquarters is in Perth and they ship Australia wide for free. So you buy one of the bikes, which his prices are real competitive compared with anyone else. Ships Australia free to the nearest depot to your town and yeah, these cool. bikes are brilliant. So get onto Great. it. <laughs> Great. I want to look them up. Yeah, well, we're going to have, um, because he's actually hooking us up with a one, TSB 110, so yeah. stock 110 bike, full swing arm, up, upside down shocks. And um, once we customise this with an SK Designs Australia kit, we're going to actually have a limited stock of custom thumpsters on our thing for people to buy. Brilliant. They're not any more expensive than thumpster, but you get a custom kit, grief pack, yeah. and a bunch of extras too. So, nice. Yeah. Yeah, so you may as well get a labelled one. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's Instead it. of getting everyone's, uh, oh, you know, it, it's yeah. great. Yep. It sounds like he's a good guy. Oh, yeah, he's great. Yeah. Brilliant, man. Yeah, so I want to ride one because mine was, uh, I feel like we've had this conversation, but why you haven't, but it was Mudgy. Shannon Wheel and I, yeah. we bought, it was 19, I don't know, 2000, and, 2000 and maybe, uh, I'm thinking 2003 or 2004, when Lawrence Drive just saw its first, <laughs> first, uh, pit bike came into town, and do you want to know how much I pay for it? Twenty eight hundred dollars. Oh, true. Yeah, that would have been. Oh man, <laughs> it was ridiculous. Mudgy got them thrown at him for free in a, oh. in, within six months, and he then was, he was riding crusty demons and all that back then. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And and a great rider too, man. <laughs> he still is, you know. But yeah, um, uh, yeah. But I I paid the top dollar. We, all, there were three of us. Come on, man. Let's get let's get these bikes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I went okay. Paid a lot of money. That was a lot of money too. Oh, yeah. Within yep. 18 months, they were down Jeez. to 700 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so no. I, wanted, I wanted, but, and, and uh, it was, uh, were they eight inch? No, no. What were the original wheel size? Were they 10? Yeah, 10 inch. Yeah, think, original yeah. 10. Yeah. So yeah, soon Jeez. got the 12s. And, yeah. Um, but it was a pretty dorky bike at the end of the day. <laughs> like, you know, when the, then Thumpster came out with some. Yeah. Bikes that really were sprung for adults, you know, really nice sort of feels. Sort of yeah. Stuff. See, his ones now like a thousand bucks, and it's brand wow. new. Like it's that's cheap. Good, as. Oh yeah, it's great. That's really <laughs> cheap. From memory, those Sydney ones in two thousand and eight. Yeah. They were up there eighteen hundred, two yeah. grand even. And that was with the whole craze going stuff. So. Yeah. yeah. So, I cracked this. Up. Man, there you are. Yours. Cheers. This is my sponsor. Nice. Ka- oh, this not that one. This one, oh. Karma, Karma Koala, the oh, opposite nice. of an energy drink. The opposite. Yeah, they, they calm me down a little <laughs> bit. Yeah, they're really good. That's all I need because I never have the energy drinks anymore. Because yeah, being a graphic designer, I have like five a day and now I'm starting to die because <laughs> I'm like almost yeah. 30 now. So <laughs> Yeah, I hear uh, you, mate. Chill out drinks. Well, these and these and that. Yeah. And it just, uh, <laughs> I don't know, it makes a good, makes a good conversation. Yeah. I'm stoked. They're Gold Cheers. Coast ladies. Yeah, good on you, mate. Yeah. So, um, no, that's good. Cool. <laughs> Right, these are good things. Yeah. So what um, uh, Matty McFerrin was telling me yesterday, the nearest place to ride, if you live on the Gold Coast, though, for a big bike, is an hour and a half away towards Boone or something at Queensland uh, QMP. Compound something there. Yep. I haven't been there. Yeah, me uh, neither, but everyone says it's a nice track. I think yeah. Shoebring and Summerfield, yep. they both got their hands in on it. So oh, Cool. Okay. Yeah, good spot. Yeah. They do a lot of a lot of the pro motocross teams do a lot of testing there too. So wow, yeah. it's a government funded deal. I think yeah, yeah, the, the council or yeah. involved. So yeah, it shouldn't be shutting down anytime no. soon, which is good. Yeah, but when it comes to pit bikes, anywhere. Yeah, that's it. Really, <laughs> not even allowed. I can even if I get bored at home. Like we've got a pretty decent backyard. I just go for a strap, yeah. and my dog just chases me. We do laps, and yeah, it's oh, good. Mate, I got to get one. Yeah. So, okay, I'm going to put it to I'm going to buy one before the end of the year. Oh, shit. <laughs> Do it mate. before our race. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that'd be all right. Oh, we actually got to try and source a pro motocross rider out because since I'll be running around making the event run smooth, yep. we've got our brand new Thumpster 110 just sitting there. So I'm going to try and tee up, I don't know, someone in the motocross industry. And I reckon I could find you someone. Yeah, get a feature rider, just come out. We'll give him the bike to ride and bunch of gear and whatever, and they can bring all their sponsorship and throw out to the kids and whatnot. So Great. Yeah, I'll try and tear it up. And something for you to follow too. You know, you actually 
Yeah. It's that one feels, uh, you don't have the stress. You're like, something, yeah, then we could be drinking a beer over this bike at the end of the day. Yeah, that's it. Hopefully oh, they'll great. get it on the podium. And <laughs> Let's get on to that, mate. Yeah. Because I'm sure anyone would uh, they'd be dying to win that. Yeah. You know? Um, now we've got some good trophies, prizes, and depending on the entry and stuff. See, since we're not making money out of it, buddy, whatever's left over on the day, we're going to divide up and do the prize money into a few of the classes. And oh, That's cool. Yeah. So, that's, that's cool. Should be good. I did a um, – uh, there's a – down past Grafton, there's a place called Moonham. Moonham? I think it's Moonham. Mooney. Maybe it's Mooney. Mooney, yeah. Yeah. They had a race there. We, I think – Again, I think we spoke about it, but yeah, I got two ten dollar checks. Oh, nice! From coming third that day, and mate, I'm a dud. Yeah. There was like five people in the import class, and they all <laughs> two of them slowed down. You know, so I came it's third. Like that Aussie that skated, and they yeah, all crashed out. Yeah. He came first. He's like, Ooh. But if you came to my shed, those checks are still on the wall. Oh, nice! Like I never cashed them. <laughs> and oh, yes, it's such a good That's thing good, to win yeah. trophies. Yeah, to win. Trophies are the great in my life. Oh. To get a trophy for something, yeah. especially as you get older, you realise, hang on a minute, I still. You, yeah. You try and focus on trying to get more. Like, yeah, it's like, a really good thing. I'm 29 now, and we do a lot out at Extreme Karting up here at Pimpama. Yeah. Best karting facility probably in Queensland. Like, it is amazing, and we always host some races. Like this Sunday, we're actually hosting an enduro, and it's eight hours of constant racing with two mates. So you do exchanging and stuff and um but we've hosted a few before and we we come second in both races which we're stoked about and having the trophy i still got it on my wall just like that is awesome yeah <laughs> like, they're achievements yeah that's proper it. memories that will you know yeah that's for a man i think it's i don't know for a lady too of course but <laughs> yeah, just, you've got to like, have that stuff mate <laughs> yeah straight to the pool room is that right so anyway hmm. i need to know about that yeah i should have teed you up it, because every time we host out extreme karting, the whole grid sells out within 10 hours, this kind of yeah. thing. So I've got to give mates a few days heads up and go, right here, we're doing this. Get onto it. Is it true that that's where they have the um, Le Mins 24 hour scooter yeah. race there now? Yeah. It used to be at Gold Coast Parklands. Okay, I did that race once. Oh, I won. With Mudgy? Oh, he was my teammate. <laughs> yeah, we did great too. But. Um, uh. Yeah, I think, wow. I think Troy Bayless went in it the last few years. Matty yeah. McFarren, I think he's done yeah, it before. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, those things have some big crashes though. You think, yeah, just a scooter, but when the guys are doing it twenty four hours, you get that concentration slip oh, and yeah. you can just eat eat oh, it. <laughs> or tarmac. There was there were times where it was and everyone says the same thing, like the first eight hours of riding, you take sort of hour and a half turns and you're only doing about forty five kilometers an hour. Yeah. But you just get so good. Like everyone oh, gets so good. Just banking in on the corner. Yeah, and, and the track and... starts to lay rubber and, you're, you know, your <laughs> so tyres get, get into a groove and you yep. become so good. But I, I kid you not, mate, by 24 hours later, I was actually um, looking at my arms. I was so delirious. Like, and I had uh, caffeine pills in the morning, <laughs> like that no-dose stuff, yeah. <laughs> right? And couldn't, I couldn't sleep. Like we actually had a lounge there to sleep. We had a bit of a good trailer yeah. that I got from the sprint car team in Brizzy. Like oh, we nice. had a nice little trailer with a... <laughs> you would have looked like factory Oh, up. yeah, it was awesome. But, but, but guess what? We had a 1989 Yamaha Zuma <laughs> and, that, and everyone else had factory um, Aprilias. Oh, and and we, that's why we did so good. We actually yeah. had a quick old, old bike, the only one with an old bike. And anyway... Uh, when you're, it was like three in the morning, like, oh man, I'm starting to get, I'm starting to lose my mind, <laughs> but you could not sleep. It's oh, like, geez. you've just done so much repetition on a track. Yeah. Like when you get out of the surf or something, or you've been on a boat and you close your eyes and you still feel the waves. Oh, yeah. You stand the... on the wharf and your <laughs> legs are, still got your sea legs. <laughs> so it was like madness. I actually uh, felt insane. I, I said it and, uh, here again, talking too much on my own deal again. No, but, that's good. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> but mum and my... Uh, a mate bought my mum and dad. They're like I didn't even like why. <laughs> and and I actually was speaking gibberish. I, and I remember going. I think about this all the time. You know, sometimes you think about the weird things you've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> I remember just being delirious. I had like, a handful of caffeine tablets, just and it was like them. ten in the morning, and I couldn't even feel my body. Oh, I actually, geez. couldn't. I was just looking down, and then it was my turn to ride. I remember going, oh, "You decide. These aren't my arms." You know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's the greatest thing. Good thing to do as mates too. Oh yeah, best thing. Yeah. yeah. Who, who won it? Matt Mingay and um and uh, 
uh, Bulger. Um, done at Ke- uh, what's his name? Robbie Bulger. Oh, they were the early days of Stunts Inc. Oh, true. So, yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, it was a great. It's always great the talent for guys like that that always have the upper hand on you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> buddy oh. Matt Mingo's good on a bike. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> how about how his great uh, Hot Wheels deal? Yeah, out. isn't that cool? Yeah, I love seeing them at the V8. It's just yeah. the Ute's broad and everything. Yeah, uh, but he'd have a life like you, like, <laughs> and, and a little bit goes, better than me. I think, yeah, but, but at the same yeah. time. You, your work never ends. Yeah, well, that's it. And I'm sure he's pa- pa- really passionate about it too. And, yeah, but he, he's doing the stadium trucks too, the bus. Same trucks. He's got two new drift cars. He's, I've been wanting to do the stadium trucks even before they started the series in Australia because you see it in America. It is off tap. Oh, yeah. And they've brought it here and I'll just look at him. Even Paul, the dude, Morris, just yep. killing. He's like, I don't know how old he is now. And he said it's the best fun he's ever had, like, over V8s and stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah, oh, it'd have to man. be. Yeah. You know, it'd have to be. And, a, you know, good soft setup. And oh, yeah. And they turn the steering wheel like two centimetres and it pulls this truck around just on three wheels. Yeah. And, wow, wow. Great. And they, I saw they raced, um, you know, everyone knows them racing at the, you know, Adelaide and Gold Coast. But yeah. Did you see the one where they raced at uh, Parramatta Speedway? Oh, I haven't seen any footage or anything, but I yeah. knew they were racing there. Yeah. yeah. So how cool. What a great yeah. thing to be a part of where you can go – do off road, yeah. do you know Street the main road, event yeah. of Surface Paradise where yeah. there's thousands of people and and be far more entertaining than oh. the main event. That's it. Like just the popularity. You watch their Facebook; it just went through the roof. The yeah. views on their videos, like everybody loves it. Yeah. The kids, the mums. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. I remember my son's five. I was like, oh my god, I forgot the stadium trucks are on in Surfers. Like. Yeah. I didn't want to team take him to do anything else. You know what I mean? Like a, nothing else. Uh, Just nothing else. They, yeah. but, and I knew, hang on a minute, we don't even have to go in because we can see him jumping from the street. What a great thing. Like you don't, uh, so it looks like they're going to pop over that fence if they get a bit yeah. side. Oh, that's geez. when the fun will be yeah. over. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's when it So get in now, everyone. Uh, yeah, That's the entertaining thing. They're just... They give it all they got in the corners. They're flipping mm. each other over. Three wheels. Yeah. Proper three wheels. Oh. And see that one down at Adelaide, rolled over the finish line, just gets back up, puts his foot down. Yeah. yeah. That's how it should um, be, though. Yeah, that's it. You know, like a good um, dirt bike race. Yeah. That's how it just should be. All or nothing. Go for it. Yeah, those V8 supercar, they've lost, just sort of lost their way. Yeah. It's like a mix between European yeah. road racing and... Well, just, you're looking, bloody, even with the Supercross in America... Um, What's his name? Western Peak or Pike. Yep. And one of the more amateur kind of guys came up on the inside of him. Uh, what's his name? Reese or something. Uh, but he came up, just took the front wheel out, and they had a bit of a – or Peak was just punching in the back of his helmet and stuff. Yeah. And then he got banned for a race and fined. And it's just like just – they but, got protective gear on to let him go. <laughs> yeah. And it was the footage that was shown – to everyone, yeah. even you in Australia saw this footage. Yeah, it's the, what we naturally want to see. Like, That's it. Just good, stiff competition. And, yeah. and yeah. It, if there's so many cameras on things. Yeah, if you do something really doggy, even punch a guy mm. in the back of the head <laughs> with his helmet, <laughs> there are so many cameras at all times that that yeah. guy will be proven to be uh, like, man, that was a bit underhanded. Like, oh yeah, we loved it. it. Yeah, it gets <laughs> but, the crowd going, and yeah, yeah. like other people are saying, oh yeah, Pete's just. As Buddy Sook punching into him and all this, and there's two sides of the story, but that's what gets people talking is yeah. you know, the controversy and stuff. But but then when right. you start banning riders for kind of small stuff like that, it makes other riders kind of withhold the aggressiveness, yeah. and exactly. it makes a bit more boring racing. So yeah. But what yeah. about the kids? What yeah. about the kids, Troy? <laughs> you know, <laughs> they, these these drivers are role models, man. Mm. No. Oh, jeez. And Atomic's a role model, not. Oh. <laughs> no, yeah, no, I agree. Uh, you know what I mean? Who would want to be a role man. model? The, the mm. thing with um, with that sort of stuff, no one wants – the com- most competitive people want to win. Yeah. You know, whether it. they're playing tennis or anything. Uh-huh. Like, they're not the nicest kid at school. They never were. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? That's it. For they're some reason, they're trying <laughs> to steal those toys. Like, I, might, yeah. I have to win. And, the, you know, everyone knew that. That one guy that was kind of silent and yeah. was like, wow, he's competitive. Yeah, know? that's it. Especially when you, I got two brothers and 
Oh, even when we're on the same team, like with this go-kart hire thing, doing the enduro, we're still matching each other's times. We're just yeah. like, you, you fucked up in that corner, you bastard. <laughs> Pick your game up. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah? yeah? What, three of you in the team? Um, no, that, uh, my youngest brother.